today we are at TC's Rockets. It's a local shop here in San Diego. It's, it's your one-stop shop for all things geekdom. They have vintage toys, modern toys, comic books, they have board games, trading cards. They have it all at this store. They have a whole section dedicated to, to gaming. So they have a bunch of tables set up. You can play Magic, Pokemon, board games, anything like that. And, and they also have a snack bar, you know, you got to keep the nerds here. They don't want them to leave, but it's a great shop if you're ever in San Diego, you live here, definitely worth a, a visit to check them out. And today we're not really looking for anything in particular, right? We're just kind of browsing, see if we can find anything to take home for the collection. Anything you want to try to look for? No? Star Wars toys. Always Star Wars, right? <laughs> All right. The With helmets. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm SoCal Shaolin. Definitely hit the subscribe button to keep up with all the toy hunts and go back and check out the past ones. Uh, yeah, there's a beat. Let's get this toy hunt started. <laughs> We are off TC's Rockets in San Diego. Here we have the Beck issues. So if you need to fill some holes out in your comic collection, there's definitely a spot to come to. A lot of Beck issues here at this location. And you can see floor to ceiling selection of Marvel Legends. They got so many Marvel Legends, it's nuts. Here we got another shot of the middle of the store. We got Star Wars figures, new and old ones as well. As you see here, these are the 90s Power of the Force, there's some Revenge of the Sith ones thrown in there, Episode 1. This is a mix of the 90s Star Wars. Very cool. You got some bigger vehicles up there like the Slave 1, couple of Power of the Force. Millennium Falcons, always cool to see those in the box. Like I was saying, the Marvel selection is nuts here for Marvel Legends. Lots of stuff. And then here in these Detolf glass cases, there's just a mix of everything. You really have to kind of look and see what's inside because it's all mixed up. There with some Power Rangers and a Terminator figure in one. Here you have the Food Fighters, that uh, vehicle that's like an egg carton. Just lots of things thrown in. You got some McFarlane stuff. There's a Donkey Kong mini arcade on, behind those NECA figures. Some miniature glow worms there these are uh, weebles i don't know if any of you guys remember the weebles they're those little egg shaped toys that came out i want to say late 70s early 80s just random stuff here always gotta check it out and see what's inside you might find some gems there's a golden girl in the package star kong cool to see star kong you don't really see those out when you're out hunting. A couple of wrestlers just mixed in different things. Here's a cool playset from Thunderbirds. Looks like it's a Japanese set. Here's a quick shot of the trading card section. There's lots of stuff here, but there's Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and all the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. And then here is the table section. You come here, play with your friends, they host events here also as well, as well as autograph signings. I've uh, gone to a couple here before in the past. And board games, they have a huge selection of board games. Like I said, they have it all here. You even got like miniature sections in the back where you can pick out miniatures and even have paints so you can paint them. And then now we're checking out the Vintage Star Wars. Check out that army of Tauntauns. Pretty cool. And they do CAS submission grading here well you send them in and then you fill out the forms and then you get your figure signs you can see here they have so many vintage Star Wars graded which is cool to see but definitely those send the prices you know really high up if you're in the market to buy for your collection I'm more of a loose guy uh, I have thought about sending some of my figures to get graded so I'm still still in the process of doing that you know cool add at right here 
this cool Skeletor Havoc stack here. And then down here in this glass case, you can see some grills. You can see there the Lord of the Rings figures graded $900 each. That's insane. Those things are super rare. Definitely some holy grails in this case. I believe Knickerbocker made those in the 70s. It'd be cool to find some of those at a flea market or something like that. Thrift store. We got some Dino Riders in the box. A whole bunch of good stuff in here. Galaxy Rangers is another grail action figure. That did not come out here in the States. Even though the cartoon was here, those only came out, I believe, Europe. And I'm not sure what other countries got them. Just don't know why they did not come out here in the States, but yeah, those definitely there's a cool line to pick up. We got some more created things as well as box items. Battlestar Galactica fans right here. Check it out, they got so much stuff. We got some board games. So definitely a lot of Battlestar Galactica here. So I got some six million dollar man, bionic woman. Here's a cool Power Rangers play set. You got Zordon right there, kind of like a holographic picture, which looks pretty cool. And then we got some Transformers for you Transformers lovers here. A lot of stuff graded, vintage, some rare stuff up in here. I'm not like I said, I'm not into Transformers like I want to be. I know these are Dinobots, but man, they got some crazy stuff up in here from Japan. Very cool to see. There's an Optimus Prime in the back in the box. And they even got a Pepsi version of Optimus Prime. Lots of stuff. Lots of G.I. Joe stuff here, guys. Lots of it. Even got the Galactus here. That was, a, I believe, Hasbro Pulse. USS Flag in the back. I mean, probably G.I. Joe is the most they have here of anything. And then Star Wars after that. But up there you got some Boulder Hill playsets from Mass in the box. Eventually I will pick up one of those. And here we have some Holy Grails from Hasbro. The green carded figures. We got Park Gun, Billy Gun, Adam Bomb. We have those on card. Spectrotron was cool to see there. That's another rare figure from the 80s. Very cool to see those men on card and graded. Lots of Dungeons and Dragons figures here. Graded. Men on card. Sky Commanders. It's another line you don't see all the time when you go out toy hunting at toy stores. <clears throat> now we're getting into the Masters of the Universe section. We got a couple playsets here, vintage playsets. Always cool to see that. There's a Battle Bones in the box as well. Got a couple of box items here, the Road Ripper, and some graded action figures. There was a Blackface Grizzler there, I don't know if you guys saw it. Here we got Power Fighters, I've never seen these before, but they definitely caught my attention. Very cool looking. And then we have some more graded Master Universe figures here. And those things just look so cool in the little acrylic cases. Lastly, we're going to check out the Ninja Turtle section, one of my favorite sections. Got some heavy hitters up in here, as you will see here shortly. I believe he's called Sandstorm. And then you got Hotspot with accessories and everything graded. Unbelievable show. Uh, great way to end this uh, hunt right here, checking out the awesome Turtle Grails. That's going to do it for this trip to TC's Rocket. It's always cool going back, especially when I haven't been there in a while. It's an amazing store. They got a lot of graded stuff, a lot of graded vintage figures. So if you like graded things, this is the place to come. Uh, I did pick up one item. Uh, if you guys have been watching the videos lately, I have got into Mask. So I'm slowly building up that collection. Very slow. <laughs> but we got Firefly here, complete with the figure. I don't even know that guy's name, but this is Firefly. It's a cool like little F1 car, race car. So glad to add this one to the collection. And uh, this is about the only thing we picked up, but uh, we ended up meeting two viewers of the channel, Ed. Thanks for watching the videos, liking and commenting. And then uh, I'm sorry I didn't get the other guy's name. I don't remember if he gave it to me, but he was visiting from Pennsylvania. So it was cool meeting you too as well. 
hopefully you guys uh, found some good stuff today at TC's Rockets. I know I did. I'm happy with this uh, Firefly mask figure. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you thought of the toy hunt, what you thought of the store. Have you been here? What did you see in the video that you would have picked up for your collection? Let us know in the comments below. And hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet and you're enjoying these videos, definitely hit the subscribe button to keep up with all the future toy hunts. And also, you can go back and check out the past ones. Uh, thing is, that means it's time to go. He's ready to get out of here. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Catch you guys on the next toy hunt. I'm um, SoCal Shaolin. I am out.